In this video, I'm going to show you how to host a React app on GitHub Pages for free. Start by heading over to my website, keithuber.ca slash lessons, and I'm going to go to this lesson more specifically. Specifically, I'll include this link in, my, in the description below. So pretty much we're going to follow through, uh, work through this whole lesson. Um, I'll show you the uh, code base that I'm going to be working off. You can find the link right here. If I open that, it's actually going to fail. I realize that's broken. Essentially what I explain is um, I have a uh, initial code base uh, that is MERN, which is Mongo Express React and Node. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to set up a React application for GitHub Pages. This allows you to do static hosting. I really like this because it requires no uh, domain if you even want a domain. You can add a domain, you can add an SSL certificate, but there's no cost associated with this, which is really, really nice. Uh, yeah, so pretty much I'm assuming that you have node installed. So if you open up your terminal and do a zoom in here, if I just do node dash dash version, um, dash dash, yeah, dash dash version, um, I have version 10 installed. So the first step that we're going to do here is we're going to actually set up the code base. So we're going to start by opening, uh, creating a, a new repository. Next, we're going to kind of go through the lesson. I'll kind of explain a few of the steps. We're going to download uh, the repository that I am starting repository. I'll explain that as well. We're going to update the package.json. We're going to run it locally, and then we're going to run it on and uh, deploy it to our GitHub pages. So let's start with the actual uh, code base. Uh, this is the package I, I'm using. It's the starting point. It's a fantastic uh, library or code uh, boilerplate code that was put together. It's pretty simple. Uh, npm install uh, installs the node modules. npm run start runs it locally, and then npm run deploy deploys it to GitHub pages. Everything can be found on your package.json. Your uh, distribute uh, distribution files can all be found under public. Your React files can all be found found under source. It loads index first. It will load a basic hello world page. And I'll show you how to do this all in your local. So the first step is to actually create a new GitHub repository. So I'm going to head over to github.com slash new. I'm going to make mine private. Uh, demo React GH pages. I'm going to hit create. I'm going to copy the GitHub URL, head back over to my Terminal, switch to my desktop, I'm just going to do the git clone and then that URL. I'm going to switch into that directory. Uh, React. Oh, not demo one. Demo React pages. The next step will be to actually download this code base. I'll include the link to this code base in the description below. So just head over here, hit download zip. It will unpack. It'll show up right here. I'm going to head over to terminal, just do open and then a dot. It opens up my, and I'm just going to copy all the files in there. Paste them there. I'm going to close both. If I do a git status, you'll, you'll see all the files. I'm just going to say git add all, git commit, and an initial commit. And I'm going to push that up to my code base. So if I head back over to my repository in my browser here, you should see the code. Refresh the page, it's all there. Uh, yeah, so the first step here is I'm gonna actually open up the code base. So I'm gonna use Atom. You can use any text editor, I just like to use Atom. We're gonna have to make a few updates to the package.json, but for the most part it'll run. Just because I know it takes a while, I'm gonna suggest doing an npm install right away. So npm install, this will inst install the dependencies. So we're just going to go through this a little bit. So as you can see, the, here's the index.js. It's the first thing that's loaded. It loads a CS, uh, CSS file. It also lives here. It renders the app component. The app can be found in the same directory. It just is an image with the welcome to react to get started, edit the app.js file, save and reload. This all gets compiled into a static file, JS file. 
it gets packaged up with this and then the index.html file will get uh, bundled with it and then all shipped out to our uh, GH uh, pages branch. So first thing that we have to do though is the static file that actually gets created will have a unique uh, number on the end of it. So we have to actually update this. So since I've called my project demo react page dash pages, I'm going to copy that. So it's actually so similar that I can just add it, the word demos in front. Next, you're going to have to add the home page that you're going to use. So I'm going to just use the, the standard github.io page, which is my username for me. For you, it's whatever you had, slash the repository. And there's going to be no slash on the end here. I'm going to hit save. And there, just like that, I might get a uh, package that JSON's already. Let's see what the status of our npm install is. Okay, there's a number of vulnerabilities. You can fix those. Just follow the instructions there. If you run npm odd fix, and you, I think you might have to force it, it will work. So if you do npm run start, I'll just clear. Yeah, npm run start. It will start up the React app on port 3000. It'll open up here. So this is what I'm talking about. We went through this code in the app. So let's just update it to make sure. So if I go back to my app.js, and I throw changes to be uh, hello world, and hit save. Go back to my internet browser. As you can see, it's refreshed, and it now says hello world. So now you have an app, a uh, React app running locally. Now it's a matter of getting it to GitHub pages. So if we go back to our editor, go to our package.json, and this is the home page I'm going to get the website at. So let's start by just trying to open this page. It should load nothing. 404. Kill that. I'm just going to do uh, git status. I'm just going to say, um, I'm just going to commit this all up. And I'll push this. The command to push to GitHub is uh, a really a single command, which is npm run deploy. And what this will do is uh, build your entire package, build that distribution uh, file, and then send it, uh, commit it all to everything that's on master will be committed to the GitHub, uh, GitHub pages branch. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. So as you can see, it's publishing to this URL. If I go here, I only have one branch. Uh, and if I head over to my settings, I uh, believe GitHub pages. Oh, it's been enabled. So um, you can add a custom domain. You add a C name. It works fantastically. Uh, the lesson in here will go into more depth on depth on how to add a custom domain. So just read through there. But as you can see, it's all actually already been set up. So that means that our code is live. I head back to the code here. I now have two branches. One is GH pages and one is master. If I head to GH pages to see what it is. Um, as you can see, this is my distribution file. I have the static JS file that was created from my React app. You kind of just leave this, this branch alone. You just modify master. If I head to, that's my local. If I head back to here, it's 404. I'm just going to do a command shift reload so it clears the cache too. And as you can see, I have my app completely deployed to my GitHub pages, as you can see with the URL. Thanks for watching. I'm going to have another video next week. Same time around 8 a.m. Uh, Wednesday morning.